Yes, I want to play a game. For years you have discussed your love for films, but now you get to live it. And no trash can to your left, you will find materials that may help you get out of that trap. But if not, you are stuck. The only way to get out of this trap, alive, is to review the new Spiral film. Make your choice. Well, I guess I, I guess I have no choice. It's time to review the new Spiral film. Truly. Spiral was directed by Darren Limbausman and stars Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. And in this story, this follows Detective Ezekiel Banks and his partner as they both find the new Jigsaw copycat killer that is terrorizing the police force. So this is the ninth film in the Saw franchise and like I said before um, Darren Limbowski directs this, directed this movie and he did 2, 3, and 4. Now before we get into the actual review let me give my uh, overall thoughts uh, on the Saw franchise. Oh and also I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit that I did in the beginning too. It was just something that I just wanted to do since this is the ninth film in the Saw franchise and this is the first Saw film that I did Saw in theaters, that was kind of my way of paying, you know, homage to the franchise. I think Saw 1 is great. I enjoyed Saw 2. Saw 3 was okay. Didn't like 4. Thought 5 was boring. 6 was okay. That's kind of a cult favorite in the franchise. Thought 7 was terrible. Jigsaw did one of the worst things a sequel can do and that's promised new things but instead it's just the same old stuff that we saw before and when I saw the trailer for this one I wasn't really expecting anything because I was still trying to get the bad taste that Jigsaw left in my mouth but unfortunately with this movie well actually no fortunately with this movie this is actually one of the better ones in the franchise in my opinion this is one I think you should really really go see so starting off with my positives for the spiral the book of Saw is of course Chris Rock's performance. Chris Rock actually did a really good job uh, in this role and you would think somebody like Chris Rock really wouldn't take a role like this because he's mostly known for his comedy and while there is a little bit of comedy in this film it doesn't take away from the overall seriousness of this film and that's something that I really enjoyed. 
Another thing too is how they executed the story. I like it how they dialed it back from the torture porn aspect that was in 4, 5, and 6 and it really went back to being a detective story like it was in Saw 1 and Saw 2. One of my main gripes after Saw 3 was the fact that it just became all about the traps and just all about how can we just rip this person open in the most disgusting way possible instead of it actually being about the characters. And the best thing about this movie is that the traps are nothing but a byproduct of the story. They don't overlap the story like it did in 4, 5, and 6. The traps are only just there to service the story. And the main story is about Chris Rock's character, Ezekiel Banks. Samuel L. Jackson is also in this movie too. And Samuel L. Jackson in this film is Samuel L. Jackson. And the fact that he's in this all movie just raises this movie up by a long shot and also another positive in this film is how the traps were i really enjoyed really all the traps and the fact that all these traps are legit tied to every single character within the police force makes a lot more sense with this story and like i said the traps are only here to service the story and some of them are very gnarly in my opinion some of the goriest and gnarliest of the franchise now getting into some of my mixed aspects okay i will probably be the only one on the internet that probably says this well, be the only one that, that admits this. I've seen a lot of reviews where a lot of people say, like, I knew who the killer was. And they would say, I knew who the killer was because of how the, they edited the trailer. I knew who he was 20 minutes in. I'll probably, I'm will probably i going to be the first one to say, the twist in this film got me, guys. Now, I know for some of you guys, you're like, what? How did I get you? Well, guys, it got me. I don't know. Maybe because I haven't seen a Saw film in a while. So maybe I'm not, like, refreshed on how the Saw formula works. But the twist in this film got me. But the only thing that really bugged me is the fact that the killer's just Chris Rock's character walks into the room and there's the killer he's just standing right there there's no potential build up so then I was expecting okay is there going to be a second twist but there isn't I was basically sitting in the theater waiting for a twist that really just never came and I said oh okay that's that's, that's how it is well, okay now moving on to some of my negatives I really don't have really any negatives to say with this film because this movie really did really surprised me but I guess the only negative in this film would be that the fact that there's no there's no Tobin Bell in this film there's no Tobin Bell there's no Jigsaw and that was really like the only negative I could really discover I mean this movie pretty much delivered on everything that I wanted a new Saw film to do like I said it didn't do something necessarily different but at least took it back to basics it at least took it back to those first two films and in my opinion this is probably my third favorite right after the first two so overall guys i really enjoyed spiral the book of saw and i think this is one that you should really go see if you're a fan of the franchise or if you just want to see a horror film um starring you know chris rock so with all that being said i'm going to give spiral a 7 out of 10 Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.